everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly love reading for Leo. Before I get started, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. And uh, thank you for your likes, subscribes, your shares, and all your support this past year. And I hope each and every one of you finds the love that you desire. Okay, that beautiful soulmate connection. So let's see what's happening. Will you meet your soulmate in 2023, Leo? Will you meet your soulmate? Who they might be? Leo. Oops, that one wants to come out. All right. Will you meet your soulmate? Leo. There we go. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have uh, some choices here. Be a little indecisive. Yeah, you've got an emperor. Yeah, you'll be cutting somebody out here. <laughs> you're going to be wise about who you choose. I'm just going to pull out a couple more. I should move those cards up. Leo. Yeah, so there's definitely an energy where you're going to take a little break at some point here. You're going to take a little bit of a break. Kind of clear your head to heal. And I also feel like you're going to realize there's no hope for someone. you got someone who's moving really slow. So feel that's not really your energy. Generally, you don't like to move super slow. So it looks like a little indecision. Okay, making a choice. I do see a possible Gemini. Uh, I see a Taurus or an Aries energy. Yeah, you're going to cut somebody out here. You're just choosing one. You just want one person. You see, that's the one. So you're going to choose wisely. I do see a break, though. I see you taking a little pause, clearing out negative energy, allowing yourself to heal. Okay. I also see an energy where you might be doing a lot of thinking. So it's the thoughts that pin you down. Uh, I do see you making a solid decision. Yeah. It could be someone wanting a reconciliation. I don't see you going for it. In fact, I, I feel it's there's a lack of hope here. Yeah. So... Yeah, we have temperance, yeah. See, it's about tempering your passions, tempering your emotions. Yeah, you got someone who's moving slow. You're different temperaments, you see, because uh, there's something off here. So I feel as though you're going to be a little indecisive, though, because you're going to look at it. Yeah, see, you've got somebody new coming in. You have an emperor coming in. You're not so into that slow-moving energy. <laughs> this is someone who kind of drags their feet. That's why I feel like you know there's no hope with this person. You might have had feelings. You may have feelings for this person to a degree. But I feel like you're going to be choosing wisely. Yeah, look at that, Leo. The sun is shining here. It's where you see. It's where you know. You see, the temperance is about tempering your passions, tempering your words. Okay, it's energy of just, you may be tempted by this person, but I feel like somebody new is going to come in and tempt you. So there it is. You have somebody uh, definitely offering you something a little more solid here. Oh, you have someone who's, wow, someone financially stable, reliable. So you're choosing a person here. This choice you're going to make uh, is choosing someone who's stable, someone who has your best interest. I feel like you, you're kind of pulling back. You realize some, something here may not be in your best interest as well, you see, because you're going to choose the right one. That's why I like the Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, see, choosing the right person. You're making a choice between two. Yeah, but you're grounding yourself. See, I like this. You're going to ground yourself. You're going to look at it. There's someone here you don't see yourself with in the future. I can see it. You're looking at it. You, you know, I do see a lot of focus on your finances, and that's why. You want someone stable. You want someone who's, you know, a good partner here. So lovely energy. But I think this other person's also choosing you because they're offering you something pretty solid here. See her, there it is. Been there, done that. So I don't think you're going to rush into anything. But I see multiple opportunities and you kind of taking a break and thinking about your choices. You're being a lot more practical and sensible. You definitely want a partner that's stable financially. And you also want a person who knows what they want. When somebody moves really slow, uh, I feel like you're looking at it. You're questioning it, you know. When someone moves too slow, they don't, aren't always sure about what they want. So I feel you'll be going for someone new. Uh, I see you making, there's that aha moment where the light bulb goes off where you have that realization uh, that you um, have to make a good decision to release. See, you're going to release somebody. 
It's possible they may try to come in and reconcile, you know, or start over, but I feel like it has to do with some judgment. Some of you may have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. Looks like Gemini, Libra. Doesn't have to be, but there it is. A fresh new start, a new opportunity. Yeah, it's about success. That's that sword going up, your moment where you're being very wise because you want to win. Like you want to have a successful relationship. And I do see you speaking the truth. Okay, I do see you definitely, you want to be comfortable. You want a comfortable home. Uh, I do see you uh, working hard on your finances, but definitely making sensible decisions. Yeah, I don't think you're going to rush though. Queen of Pentacles doesn't rush, you see. And I see because of the way the card's facing and it came up right there is, is, you know, you want that one particular person. You want someone who shares some of the same passions, that fire and passion, you see. Yeah, somebody who moves a little faster. <laughs> no, but multiple opportunities you're going to pick the person who's successful no, I, I do see you speaking the truth about that too being in your integrity so beautiful energy there lovely yeah you've got a king of cups yeah somebody emotionally mature and available no, somebody who's financially stable king and queen of pentacles lovely you've got multiple opportunities here look at that emotional fulfillment yeah, so there's definitely something that's going to end. So, yeah, you see that? Something is finished. Transformation. So uh, definitely some of you may have, you may start something or already have, but it's moving slow. And then this new person's entering the scene here. Wow, Leo, look at that happiness. <laughs> Something's going to make you happy. And I feel like you're going to choose what makes you happy. You know, what feels right. Because this is an energy of someone who's moving really slow. Okay, now it actually could be this person. It's hard to say. Uh, but I also see someone who's financially stable here. Uh, it's more than likely this emperor energy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, you know, I do see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, but I, you know, honestly, I feel it's really just this person. Uh, somebody who wants to have success they are successful they are not afraid to put their feelings out there so uh, they may have some fire in their chart but it's about sharing the passion sharing uh, the passion you know uh, that beautiful creative energy you know two people who work uh, have something to share the couple who uh, works together in fact it could be a boss or someone you work with uh, possibly I do see you meeting this person at a place where people congregate, where they spend money. It's a safe place. So very nice energy there. Tell me more about that Ten of Pentacles energy. Yeah, so it's definitely an energy of success. Yeah, you're going to meet this person at some kind of event. You may have already met this person at the beginning of the year, maybe even on New Year's or through the holiday season. But I can see the success here. Yeah, I see somebody here not having a victory where you're realizing, see, that you're not going to have success with this person. They're moving too slow. Someone there is moving too slow. It's an energy of someone who, you know, they want to have success, but they're more focused on their money. So it could be you're freeing yourself from this person and moving towards this other energy, the King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy. I see a lot of happiness here, but I see this ending. See, making a decision to end something, to start something new. So do make sure you end anything that you need to end before you, you end it before you start something new. Be in your integrity and speak the truth, okay? If you have a choice. So it's about being wise, you know. You want If you want something to be successful, I do feel it's important for you to have a partner who's successful with that king and queen of pentacles energy. It's the power couple, two people who are passionate about work, okay? Their beliefs, their habits. So there's, I feel there's passion here. In fact, this person could have... Aries or Sagittarius in their chart. I also see some Taurus energy. So this could actually just be one one person because it almost looks like this is where right at the beginning of the year, you're going to pull back and look at something. You know, it's an energy of being patient, but you're tempering your passions. Like I say, you're not going to make a hasty choice with that Queen of Pentacles. You're going to look at the situation. Yeah, very interesting though. But I feel like you know exactly what you're doing here. You want a partner. You, know, you want someone you can count on. Uh, maybe you want someone who shares the same passions as you do. Uh, some creative energy there, Leo. Tell me about the sun. It's here, so I'll clarify. Yeah, so there's definitely a reason to celebrate. It's building a strong financial uh, foundation as well, being very happy. So you're starting something here. 
uh, with this person. Um, there could be business involved in this too uh, for some of you. Tell me about this choice in love. Yeah, Empress energy. It's funny, Aries got that too. I do see an Aries energy here. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely someone new though. Yeah, see the birth of something new. With every ending comes a new beginning. So this is where I feel like you're going to take a little bit of a break here. Take a little pause and kind of think uh, before you rush into anything. But you see, it's the end of delays. Things are about to start speeding up here. Uh, so I feel like it's you got this person coming in who I feel you can communicate with well. You're both passionate. You're both creative. Um, you know, there is a, this grounded and this passionate fire energy. So there's some kind of balance here uh, between you and this other person. There's some kind of balance between you. But I do feel with this one person, you feel like there's no hope. Okay, somebody here, like that's where you start to kind of pull back and look at it and go, you know, there's something off with this person. They move too slow. You know, so there's that where you have to make a decision. You may have a little bit of trouble. So you, like I say, sometimes that's an energy of, you know, it's possible too. Like I say, you may have started something and failed to recognize with one person that they're, um, you, know, you know, they just move too slow. They may be focused on other things, not so much on their love life. So... But you got something solid, a solid, reliable energy. See, someone who wants to build a foundation. You're going to date this person. They'll likely very quickly introduce you to their friends, their family. Uh, that's when somebody introduces you to their friends and family quick. That means they usually really like you. and They see it being successful. This is someone who's going to give you a lot of attention too. You see, this is definitely someone who's going to give you a lot of attention. Very nice. Oh, yeah. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, lovely energy. They definitely have some fire in their chart somewhere. So there's definitely going to be some balance. Tell me about the Empress energy. There we go. Yeah, there you are, Leo. Look at that. Yeah, you know what you want and you're not settling. You want love. You want someone who's passionate and creative. You know, somebody who has those similar energies as yourself. There's someone here, like I say, who's right for you. Someone who's just not. So that's where that realization, you know, the little light bulb goes off where you realize there's not really a lot of hope with this person. And I think it's just you have different temperaments, you know. Some people just aren't right for each other. They have different temperaments. There's too many differences, you know, or sometimes there's just no chemistry. Okay, there's not enough passion, a lot of fire. You know, you got someone here who might be very sexy, very sensuous, uh, but I feel like some of you are looking at that, that passion there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a physical attraction. So there's no chemistry with one and a lot more chemistry with somebody else. Yeah, lovely. This is really interesting energy. Definitely Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. It looks like really, um, looks like more of a little more Sag, but it's hard to say. They could come in as an earth sign with heavy uh, fire placements. Or maybe a water sign, Cancer, Pisces. They could even be a Scorpio for some of you, uh, possibly. Because uh, I do see an ending, see? Making a decision to end something for good. It's over because it's the birth of something new, you see? This is where you know what you want. You've waited pa patiently for this right person uh, to come in. So this is a beautiful, yeah, somebody with some fire. Two of you very much the same, passionate, creative, but also... Uh, grounded, two people who are quite grounded. Yeah, and that's a lovely energy. Two people who like to focus a lot on work, a couple of homebodies, but also, you know, the creativity is what I like. I actually feel like you're going to have a lot of chemistry with this person. And I see the beautiful creative energy of the Empress. This person's seeing that too, you see. They're also not afraid of putting themselves out there. Uh, you know, so someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, but this is that emotional fulfillment, see. I think you've got a person here who's <laughs> definitely sees a future with you. And it looks like vice versa, too. Yeah, there could be children, the mother of the children. If you're someone who wants children, that this person may want children. Okay, or vice versa. But it also an energy of someone who's very generous. They like to give gifts. They like to do sweet things. King of Cups. Yeah, they like to uh, spoil sometimes and give a lot of gifts, you see. So somebody, definitely, they are successful, I feel. I don't, if you are moving away from an emperor energy and moving towards another person, it's possible the emperor here is somebody who maybe has a little bit of an ego. 
Okay, they're more focused on their money, their success financial than they are their love life. So that could be, like I say, where you're kind of looking at that. But definitely something will end here. Or it's just a decision to end something permanently. Uh, just a, a period in your life. There you go. So the cycle's over. Uh, things are shifting in your favor. I think this person sees you in a beautifully favorable light. They see you as this empress energy, you see. Very sexy, very charming, very attractive, very creative, hardworking, capable. You see, two both of you. You're both choosing each other is what I feel. You know, it's like you're going to make this choice and just kind of go for it. I feel communication will be really good uh, between the two of you. I think you'll be able to communicate quite lovely. Okay, both passionate, fiery, uh, like to talk about work and creative pursuits. But this is where you make a decision where it's a been there, done that with someone. Like some of you, maybe you've just been uh, dating a lot of people who drag their feet. They move too slow or they're too focused on their money. There's a lack of balance. Okay. Yeah, but I love that sun shining up there. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about this new person. I, I think they're coming towards you. They're the one that's going to start it. Oh, yeah. See, a choice. Choice and love. The sun is shining. A lot of happiness and love coming in this year. Now, I know everybody always wants to know timing. Now, this is a very similar reading to Aries. So I feel someone, some of you, some of you not all of you, uh, your person may have Aries in their chart. Now, like I say, they could really be uh, anybody. They may just have those heavy placements or they just have that energy. Yeah, a little Gemini energy here as well. So there's somebody here as a little air, but that could be yourself or some Libra that comes with that Empress energy. And also the judgment. Somebody may have a little air there. Wow, a lot of chemistry here, but I feel as the chemistry is off with somebody and it's on with someone else. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you've got choices here. Tell me more about the lovers. Yeah, see, it's the energy of two people building each other up, building something. You may meet this person through work or you've worked together at some point. Uh, it could start out as a crush, you know, a crush at work. Uh, but if it's not a work situation, it's just an energy of two people perfecting their craft, wanting to build something. So somebody is going to put a lot of effort into giving you attention. I can tell you that. They're going to be uh, give you little gifts. They're going to do things for you to show you that they like you. Now, they're definitely not afraid of putting themselves out there. I can see that energy of someone who goes after exactly what they want. King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, you definitely are going to fit quite lovely, I feel. Now, timing, I would have to say, like uh, I've seen in the Aries, is very similar uh, energy, which had pretty much all the same energy in it. I feel it's likely going to be a summertime thing, spring or summer. I do think this person's going to be in a hurry to introduce you to their friends and family if you haven't already met them. But I feel like you're going to meet them through some people that you possibly know. It's some kind of an event. Uh, it's going to go quite well, or your first date or so is going to go be very successful. Uh, either or there, I kind of get the vibe of both. Oops, I got my cards all upside down here. I'm just going to pull out one more on that Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so I see that. See, it's an energy of action, fighting for the things that you want here. You see, there's some kind of competition. That's where I feel you have to make a decision. But it's an energy of somebody who knows what they want and they go after it. You see, this is the person. This is someone coming right after you. They they can see this. They see this being successful with you. Uh, I feel like you're going to, I feel like there's going to be some kind of party. Maybe you're going to dance with this person or something. But it's obstacles and challenge going after what you want here. You see, it's finding somebody here who's passionate, uh, someone who knows exactly. It's an energy of someone who goes after it. Uh, that one, see, that's the wand, the one. A lot of physical connection here between the two of you as well. I think you're going to build a bond with this person. I feel like it's going to start off on the right foot when I see that. See, 
Yeah, it's building a solid foundation right off the get-go. Yeah, trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. It's like you're going to just know this person's uh, right for you. It's going to feel right. But I still think you're going to be a little bit on that Queen of Pentacles energy. You're going to kind of ground yourself first before you uh, rush into anything, especially if you have another person, if you already are seeing somebody. It's possible, like I say, you could go someplace with someone and meet this other person, but you're going to ground yourself. You're not, you're, you're being very serious with yourself here with that Queen of Swords, you see. Uh, wise, that's your inner wisdom, your inner knowing. It's where you just know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think this person may be in that energy. In fact, they could have Pisces in their chart. It could be them who just knows uh, you're that right person. So beautiful energy. Yeah, I would have to say with all this blue, all this sunny, bright, cheerful energy, I would have to say spring, summer. Um, um, when you either meet them or um, uh, when you take this possibly to another level. Okay. Yeah, but I think this is someone you can see yourself with in the future. You see, and this, but this is this person's energy. They see a future with you. You see, they know. They it, like I say, if you don't have children, they likely do uh, want children. Uh, could have a couple single parents here. Could go either way, but it's really an energy who of someone who really shows you they like you. They do sweet things, help you out. You know, yeah. Maybe help you out with your kids or help you around your home. Uh, things to show you. That's how it's likely going to come about. And then all of a sudden out comes the uh, the I love yous and the feelings, the emotions. Beautiful. Yeah. See, it's an energy of commitment. So somebody who's going to go about things the right way. So there's justice. So I feel like you're going to meet them at some point. You may already have. Like I say, it may have already happened. If not, I see this happening in a... Oh, I mean, it depends on the path you're on with this indecision. Uh, if you've got this slow-moving person and you're patiently waiting for them to put in some effort, I think the aha moment, something you may have failed to recognize with someone here, that they were moving slow because they don't really want to put the effort in into it, you know? They're more focused on their work, not so much on you, you see? It's likely somebody who comes towards you when they just want attention, now that's where I feel that you're getting that moment where that light bulb goes off with the Ace of Swords, you see? Yeah, it's like I, I feel like this is something that's going to just sort of come about. Uh, likely, I, I wouldn't necessarily when you least expect it, but, you know, it's one of those situations where like you're either at a party, a celebration, out shopping at a park somewhere in the community with friends or family, and all of a sudden this person comes towards you. But I do see you questioning and being discerning being very practical uh, your inner wisdom is going to tell you to do that to make sure they are just right and they are going to they're going to do things the right way uh, most definitely here yeah and i think you're going to move away from this other person this slow but i feel what you're going to be looking at here is to see how slow this person moves if they have anything similar to this other slow moving energy and for some of you, it's possible it does start off a little bit slow. It's possible where you just need to be a little bit patient. They may have somebody with a little bit different temperament. They move a little bit slower. Uh, for those of you where you've just got this one energy, you need to be a little patient to give this person a little time, okay, to sort of adjust. Then I really feel that someone is going to be coming after you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what they want chemistry beautiful all right i wish you guys the best here i say spring and summer okay if you've already met the person it could happen uh, sooner it's possible uh, if and it's also possible in the spring and summer energy here uh, you may get an invitation to a party a celebration a gathering uh, or you could just be someplace out in public it's a safe place it's a happy place a social place uh, where you'll meet this person but I would say before the end of the year, you're probably going to have some kind of a commitment with this person. Things are definitely shifting in your favor. A cycle has ended, you see, and there you are with this person. Uh, beautiful birth of something new, the Empress energy. Some of you may end up having a child with this person, okay? If you want children, if you're at that age, if you're not, then uh, that Six of Cups is just somebody who's sweet on you, doing nice things, giving you a lot of gifts. 
It's definitely somebody who's uh, very emotionally mature. Like they really are very balanced. Yeah, king and queen of cups. You're, you're going to fall and fall for this person. And definitely likewise, you see, is a lot of emotional fulfillment. You're going to be looking at your feelings. You're going to be exploring your feelings. You're going to be thinking about it, you know. Uh huh. Like I say, if you got another person around you and then you meet this person, it could take a little time to get this going where you realize you've been waiting for someone and it's time to, like I say, been there, done that, another opportunity coming in. But I feel that you're going to think about it. I don't see you actually uh, rushing. So like I say, it could be yourself telling yourself to calm down and slow down with that temperance. But you're definitely going to be tempering your thoughts, okay, how much you think okay about a situation uh, and your words so i see a lot of kindness and compassion but i see you looking on the past with kindness and compassion as well so whoever it is you're leaving behind I feel like you're going to be it's t saying to be very kind about it okay uh, to be kind about it um it always serves in your best interest to do so but there's that beautiful cycle yeah see ending something make sure you do end this other situation before you start something new Okay, if you meet this person, make sure you need to let them know they need to be, maybe they need to be patient while you kindly and compassionately end a situation with that other person that's slow. Okay, so that's a person who, you know, it doesn't mean they don't like you, it's just they're more focused on their money than they are in their love life, you see. You know, they like att the attention you give them, they like... Um, you know, maybe the physical connection, whatever it is, but it's somebody who just comes in when they want attention, you see. Um, it's not like they're out, they're not a user. I don't see this person being that way. It's just the way they are. They, It's an emperor who kind of, you know, maybe set in their ways. But I honestly feel the person that's coming in is an emperor. And this is their energy, uh, king of pentacles and king of cups. So very nice. All right, Leo, wish you the very best here. Uh, stay positive and do you know this is a reminder to get out there if you have someone who's not giving you attention the attention you need it's where you free yourself and you go out and meet other people and uh, i see you needing to go out like it could take six months to meet this person okay it could take six months so you know the seasons are kind of irrelevant everyone lives in a different area some people are at summertime right now some people it's the middle of winter so Okay, keep that in mind, but it kind of looks like, you know, uh, maybe six months of dating and then introduced to friends and family. I kind of feel like you're going to date this person a little bit before you. I really do feel that with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles sometimes is someone who likes to have a companion first, kind of hang out, do things together to see if you fit, you see. So lovely. But I think you're going to fall for them. Queen of Cups, King of Cups here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. All right. Take care, Leo. Wish you the best and we'll see you soon.